find the area of a square whose consecutive vertices are 11 12 and 5 4 so basically you know when you plot a square on the graph there right on the coordinate axis there will be consecutive vertices one these two are consecutive or maybe these two are consecutive right so it says the consecutive vertices of a square are 11 12 and 5 4 11 12 and 5 4 right so maybe the you know strictly speaking the square is actually like this given that the vertices are 11 12 5 4 so let's say this is uh, 5 4 and this is 11 12 right for example now for you to find out the area of a square you should know the side of the square what is the side so all i have to do is find out the length of the side length of the side is nothing but the distance between these two points right so s is equal to the distance between 11 12 and and 5 4 how do you measure that you know when two vertices are given to x1 y1 x2 y2 the distance is considered as root over x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square so 11 minus 5 whole square plus 12 minus 4 whole square so that's like 6 square 36 8 square 64 36 plus 64 is 100 under root 100 which is equal to 10. so the side is 10 what is the area of the square area of a square is equal to side square so 10 square which should be 100 square units a very simple one so this question is on geometry and uh, this was asked in the ssc paper okay so generally bank geometry you don't get much so anyway we'll try and solve this okay what is given here the area of the triangle formed by the lines y is equal to 2x x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2 is dash so i have to find the area of the triangle that is formed by these three lines so whenever you have such a question draw the coordinates okay and then uh, what you do is uh, represent the given lines now what are they saying x is equal to 0 okay so uh, how do you represent x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 means see this is the x axis and this is the y axis so the line x is equal to 0 is nothing but this correct this line represents x is equal to 0 okay because x value always remains 0 for any value of y now next one you have to represent y is equal to 2 which is the line which represents y is equal to 2 that means y is equal to 2 means for any value of x the value of y is always 2 so if this is 2 in the y coordinate this is the line which represents y is equal to 2 now you have a third line which represents y is equal to 2x which will that line be see if x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 if x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 and so on correct that is going to be the way in which this line is going to come the points in this line are going to come so what is the third line that they are referring to the line will be like this it will intersect this point right this uh, that is origin it will go through origin and it will go like this and what is this point see when y is 2 x is equal to 1 so this will be 1 2 now what have i got see this is 0 2 x is 0 y is 2 correct this is 0 0 now uh, this is the triangle that we are looking at correct the angle that is uh, i mean that uh, the triangle that is formed by joining of these three lines is this triangle and that is this triangle correct this is the triangle that we are looking at now we know the coordinates of this triangle so just find out the area how do i find out this area what is this length this length is 2 and what is this length this length is um, 1 correct this length is 1 this is 2 so what is the area area of a triangle is nothing but half into base into height so this is a right angle triangle correct so this is the base this is the height that is equal to half into 2 into 1 that is equal to 1 square unit correct correct answer is what d great uh, this question was posted by kaustav r and t are points on a straight line pq on which pr is equal to rt is equal to tq what percentage of pt is pq now for this question give me the answer first this is a very easy one so there is a line pq and r and t are points on pq such that this length pr is equal to rt is equal to tq right so you can take all these lengths to be x centimeters or x meters right if each of this is x centimeters then what is pq pq is nothing but 3x correct pr is x rt is x and tq is x now what percentage of pt is pq so what is pt pt is x plus x or 2x 
what percentage of PT is PQ? Correct, that is equal to 150 percentage. See, what percentage of PT is PQ? So, PT comes in the denominator, PQ in the numerator, right? So, that is how 3 by 2 or 150 percentage. Correct? Yeah. 